Welcome. Welcome. Please. Welcome. Welcome. Remain seated. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, what's up, boss babes? So today we are reviewing Scylla hair. All the details will be in the description box of this synthetic wig. It's a 30 inch wavy synthetic wig with a lace front. Here is what's under the wig cap. Um, two combs in the front, one in the back, and of course the string to keep it tight. Here is the lace front. As you can see, it's only so much room for plucking, unfortunately, but we will practice with it. That part is a little plastic, so we'll see if the spray will take. And there's the middle part. Unfortunately, I could not find my shears, so we will result into using some basic scissors for this video. I am using this tinted spray, which I love, just to test it out. First time on, it does match my skin complexion, so I'm gonna just go ahead and double up just so it can truly, you know, be filled. Using my wig stand for the first time, you all have no idea how excited I am about this. I'm just breaking her in, spraying around the lace front as much as I can. Okay, girl, yes. <laughs> so I already went ahead and got to be glued my edges down while I was going ahead, while, while I was spraying it and all that good stuff. I'm gonna be following Susu on YouTube and how she lays her install or like how she lays her cap down before she does her install. Since this is the first time I'm practicing on my wig head, as you can see, she's finally broken in. I'm gonna now go ahead and practice on getting my cap together, laying it down. In my opinion, when you're practicing and getting better with laying your lace, it starts with how you lay your cap down, whether you choose to wear one or not, and then also how you lay your lace down in preparation for the baby hairs and all that good stuff. So again, since this is a synthetic wig, the main thing I'm focused on in this video is practicing and playing with the tint color, but most importantly, how I lay my cap down as well as how I cut and play with the baby hair. So let's just get back into it. All right, so I'm gonna be using a beige, a regular beige stocking cap. This one felt extremely tight for some odd reason, or maybe my head just got bigger and I don't know. Um, so I am following Susu, as I said before. She is the person that I fell in love with as she was laying her cap down. We're gonna go ahead and glue the cap down. Um, I think I put a little bit too much on mine compared to how she did hers. This is actually my first time using this and I loved it extremely. I don't know why I waited so long to get it. But yeah, so I am just kind of following what she's doing and it took me a little bit longer. I want to say it took me probably like two to five minutes just because I was really trying to see how she did it and obviously make sure that the cap was stretched all the way down. This process, you all, as you watch the video, mm mm mm, -mm. I also added some got to be glue spray just to secure it, the cap since this was my first time and the glue kept kind of sliding so I wanted to go ahead and add some got to be glue there. Now we're cutting the ear holes open just in preparation to cut the lace um, or just in preparation to cut the cap and I am en I was enjoying it half the time but I got frustrated along the way so um, I kept my composure possibly. Baby, I do, baby, I do. Okay, girl, vibe out. I'll be vibing when I do my hair, <laughs> as you can see. So now we're doing the makeup method. This method to me is not as effective um, simply because I feel like my makeup's not dark enough. Like how hers, she was just putting it on and it was blending beautifully. Mine's just like barely even on. So maybe I need a darker or better makeup thing. So I don't know. Um, so just, you know, go ahead and use like a razor cut. One of the things that I've learned is to use the razor cut to um, allow it to kind of have like a more natural state when you are cutting, whether it's your lace or your cap, instead of it being scissors and doing it straight across or whatever. So I resorted to using these instead of my basic scissors because um, I couldn't find my shears. So I did spray that on. There's no um, residue or anything. I'd probably let it sit for the 10 minutes that I, while I was doing the cap method. And yeah, so let's put her on. As you can see, as I was saying earlier, under the wig for the middle part, it was like a plastic piece covering that area. So even though I sprayed it underneath, it didn't come through the wig so on top. So I'm, I'm going to have to touch that part up at the end. Um, so yeah, this was extremely interesting. I've never worn my weaves down to where my actual edges are and my edges you all are right by my ears. I don't complain about it because most women don't have edges that far down so it is a blessing. But for lace fronts, it's it can be very difficult. So that's why I'm really trying to learn this process. Um, 
this part was a little difficult mainly because I was trying to record watch and cut at the same time talk about multitasking <laughs> oh my goodness this process was one for the books all right so this is extremely interesting because all my laces up to this point I usually would let my edges stay out because I feel like pulling it down here what part this is like an extremely close part to my forehead and my forehead just looks even smaller <laughs> I'm gonna go all the way through this process and just see how the wig comes out, period. And again, because this is a synthetic wig, I can't, I'm going to still pluck it right here, but I feel like a human wig would give me more flexibility and space to pluck more hair right here to make my hairline basically start right here. I think it's insane because I already have a small forehead in my opinion. So now I'm making it smaller. So it's a little weird, but I'm going to finish this entire process with this wig for the first time. And then the next wig that I do will be a human wig. So I feel like we'll have a bit more flexibility on that. But so far, so interesting, right? I know. So let's just keep going and to see what happens. <laughs> we are going back over the cap in preparation to lay the lace down. Make sure you all have wipes around because I kept um, putting it too far down, as you can see, is right by my eyebrows. So put some around. I was following most of her method, but some of the things I like, I didn't, I didn't pre pluck, I didn't pre pluck like she did, and um, I kind of had to go over it multiple times. I missed the part where she only went on one side, as I did the entire front, thinking I was, just, I got super confident for no reason when I should have just been watching her for the first time around. I just put that on to secure my cap a little bit more because I felt like it was just not as tight as hers was. So I would say this is probably my second layer of glue. Now I'm going back over for my third layer of glue. And um, I will add this in. This is probably five days later of this wig. It did not pull my edges out, thank God. That was one of the most nervous things I was like worried about, but I'm pretty sure over time it does pull your edges out. So just be mindful of how much glue you're using and how often you're gonna use it. So let's go ahead and put this down. I was so nervous because I'm like, how is this gonna even look? This cap is all the way by my eyebrows. Like how is this process gonna make any kind of sense? <laughs> Y'all, I was going through a lot of different emotions as I was recording this, but I also wanted to get get it done and practice I feel like practice makes perfect of course and then you learn what you like along the way and what you don't you know what I'm saying so one side of the head wig is down the other side I'm currently working on as you can obviously see yeah I kind of messed mine up compared to how she did hers because I think I looked back I was like dang she did one side and then the other side <laughs> but this wig um wasn't too difficult to work with I should have gotten a shorter one as my first practice wig but the next two that I'm working on are short thank god so it'll be a little bit easier at this point I'm just f happy that the cap came <music> Eyebrows lifted, forehead tiny. <laughs> I don't want to laugh too hard. I feel like I'm gonna expand my lace. My goodness! <laughs> wow. Okay, let's keep going. I feel like honestly at this point, I feel like I want to put a hair tie on, but since I didn't pre-plug on my wig head because the synthetic um, wig had just a little bit of space of lace, so I was like, you know what? I'll just do it on my head once I put it on. But like the human weaves that give more flexibility again to pre-plug then or to pluck more, I will, but I didn't want to do all that when I knew it was like, it would be a handful. So I'll do it on my head as we go. She is moving so fast. Come on, Susu. But so far I love the process. It's just so new to me that it's hilariously funny. So right here, this is the part that took the longest for me, all the plucking. I had to really create a hairline because as you seen earlier, the synthetic wig just kind of had this very rough stop. So I didn't have much, I, I had like very little space to work with in plucking. So we're gonna go through this plucking phase. If you're learning yourself or practicing along with me, take your time, don't rush it. And, 
pluck a lot of freaking hair off like I had to keep going back over it because I thought I had plucked enough off and I didn't so this part took the longest out of all the parts you know have a good playlist pump in while you're doing it <laughs> that's the best that I can say take your time pluck a lot of hair have a dope playlist and then you're good to go <laughs> My hot comb wasn't really that hot, but I also wasn't sure how much heat I could put on this wig. So I didn't want to play with it too much or leave it on too long and burn the wig and that'd be a whole nother situation. So I kind of just lightly went through it. I guess I didn't show this part, but for my middle part, I did go ahead and just um, spray the tinted light brown. And then because I didn't want to put the spray on my actual hairline, I went ahead and just used the makeup method on this area. I was nervous to put on the hairspray on my hairline and it not come off right away or wipe off right away. So I just went ahead and did the makeup in that area just to be safe. And now we're gonna go ahead and practice these baby hairs. See how much hair there still is like, Looking at Susu, she still has a lot, but hers is like thinner. That makes sense. So they do this part so quick and easy. I just be like, bro, I be struggling to lay my baby hairs down, but they just be moving beautifully. I feel like the, just the more you do it, the confidence you have, it just comes out beautifully. Be confident, patient with yourself and trusting your hand movements, to be honest. <laughs> So I'm about to let this sit. It's getting dark. I want to run to the grocery store. I'll finish this once I get home, clean up and all that good stuff. And we'll finish off. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so we are back with the final reveal. Okay, so in the meantime, I went grocery shopping. I cleaned up all of the hair that was on the floor. Um, I would say this process took me about two hours. Of course, I was pausing in between and the plucking definitely took the longest, which is why I totally understand why they speeded up in that part because it took me a minute, especially as a beginner. So let's see what's under here. Let's see this masterpiece. Very, very hairy. All right, so the baby hairs are laid. Another thing I will say, first of all, glory to God for the facelift. <laughs> <laughs> um definitely more plucking needs to happen i'm not even gonna cap that's a lot of hair especially because it's right next to my eyebrow i like it for the first time i'm really excited about the process i feel more confident now when i lay my laces i've only tried this method the first time but this i am in love with oh my goodness the makeup i tried the makeup method it didn't work for me like most um but tr using that tint worked perfectly so let's go ahead and just unravel her fully that is a wrap for this video to be honest with you all i'm excited that it looks like this for the first go round as you can see that's a lot of hair still there this one i don't even know what happened to it <laughs> this side looks bomb still a lot of hair no matter how you slice it but i definitely can tell what i need to do on the next one shout out to her and it's another young woman um that i will be practicing on those were like the top two that i love they gave a lot of detail but susu gave the cap version i would totally sew this back part down because it is spacious you can't see it from here and plus the weave is long itself and even if i were to put in the ponytail which is doable this side is not the best compared to this side, but you get what I'm saying. Um, you won't be able to see anything and you can easily pin it down. So I'm not going to cap. This is my first time using any form of glue other than got to be glue and it is holding extremely tight. If you watch the process again, you've seen how much I put on. 
this bad boy is on but now I want to see what it looks like after working out for two to three days that's one of the main reasons why I am learning to do it myself because I work out way too much for it to lift after three days and paying $200 so this is a wrap if you are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and press the subscribe button and if you are what's good what's popping if you're on this journey with me how long did it take you all it took me at least officially two hours for this entire process some of the parts of obviously I sped up because it took that long um, let me know what you think how did you feel doing it how did yours come out I was stressed out at the end like at the end I was so over the plucking I was like man forget all this I'm just about to whatever happens happens it's two hours later it's time to wrap it up I have a goal I have other things I need to get done like your girl was over it I'm not gonna lie so I'll talk to you all in the next video if you are subscribed to my channel turn on your notifications so you know when your girl uploads her next video and I don't want you to miss out especially if you're doing this process with me so this is your girl Lee Poitier I appreciate you all God bless you and until next time all right I'll talk to you later bye